Imagine a battery that could power a spacecraft for centuries without ever needing a recharge. Nuclear batteries, also known as radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, harness the energy from radioactive decay to generate electricity. These devices have already powered missions like the Voyager probes, which are still transmitting data from interstellar space over 45 years after launch, and could theoretically continue operating for thousands of years. This remarkable longevity makes nuclear batteries not just a marvel of modern engineering, but a key to unlocking humanity's ability to explore deep space and develop ultra-long-lasting energy solutions on Earth. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. In a groundbreaking leap forward, Chinese scientists have developed a nuclear battery designed to generate power continuously for over a century. This remarkable achievement was made possible by leveraging advanced radioisotope technology and cutting-edge thermoelectric materials, which convert heat from radioactive decay into electricity with unprecedented efficiency. Unlike traditional chemical batteries that degrade over time, this nuclear battery maintains its energy output for decades, even in the harshest environments. What sets this innovation apart is not just its longevity but also its potential to revolutionize industries far beyond space exploration. From powering remote infrastructure and deep-sea equipment to providing sustainable energy solutions for medical devices and disaster relief, this century-long nuclear battery could redefine how we think about energy storage and utilization. As humanity seeks cleaner, more durable energy sources, this achievement marks a pivotal step toward a future where long-lasting power is both reliable and transformative. Traditional batteries, such as lithium-ion and lead-acid batteries, have long been the backbone of modern energy storage systems. However, they come with significant limitations that hinder their effectiveness in certain applications. One major issue is their relatively short lifespan. Most lithium-ion batteries, for example, degrade after just a few years or several hundred charge cycles, making them unsuitable for long-term use in remote or inaccessible locations, like space missions, deep-sea sensors, or underground installations. Moreover, the environmental impact of traditional batteries is a growing concern. Mining the raw materials, such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel, causes extensive ecological damage, including deforestation, water pollution, and habitat destruction. The production process itself is energy-intensive and generates substantial greenhouse gas emissions. At the end of their life cycle, improper disposal of these batteries contributes to toxic waste, further exacerbating environmental harm. The century-long nuclear battery developed by Chinese scientists addresses these challenges head-on. By utilizing the steady heat from radioactive decay, it eliminates the need for frequent replacements, drastically reducing waste. It also sidesteps the resource-intensive extraction and manufacturing processes associated with chemical batteries. Furthermore, its longevity ensures minimal environmental disruption over time, offering a cleaner, more sustainable alternative for applications requiring durable and reliable power sources. This innovation could pave the way for a future where energy storage is not only more efficient but also far kinder to our planet. At the heart of a nuclear battery lies a fascinating combination of physics, material science, and engineering. Unlike traditional batteries that rely on chemical reactions to store and release energy, nuclear batteries harness the energy released during radioactive decay, a natural process where unstable atomic nuclei shed particles and energy to achieve stability. The Chinese century-long nuclear battery operates as a radioisotope thermoelectric generator or an advanced variation thereof. Here's how it functions. 1. Radioactive decay. The battery uses a radioisotope, typically one with a long half-life such as plutonium-238 or strontium-90, as its power source. These isotopes emit heat as they decay into more stable elements. For example, plutonium-238 has a half-life of about 87.7 years, meaning it generates consistent heat for decades. 2. Thermoelectric conversion. This heat is then converted into electricity using a phenomenon known as the thermoelectric effect. Special materials called thermoelectric semiconductors are placed in contact with the heat source and a cooler environment. 
When there's a temperature difference between the two sides, electrons flow, generating an electric current. These materials must be highly efficient at converting thermal energy into electrical energy while withstanding prolonged exposure to radiation and heat. 3. Encapsulation and Safety To ensure safety and durability, the radioisotope core is encased in robust shielding materials that prevent radiation leakage. Advanced engineering ensures that the system remains stable even under extreme conditions, such as those encountered in space or deep-sea environments. Key Components Radioisotope core Provides the heat through continuous radioactive decay. Thermoelectric materials Convert heat into electricity via the Seebeck effect. Recent advancements have focused on improving these materials' efficiency, often using compounds like bismuth telluride or silicon germanium. Shielding Protects against radiation while allowing heat transfer. Heatsink dissipates excess heat to maintain optimal operating temperatures. The development of this nuclear battery represents years of multidisciplinary research and innovation. 1. Material Science Advancements A critical challenge was improving the efficiency of thermoelectric materials. Traditional materials had low conversion rates, limiting practical applications. Researchers experimented with nanostructured materials and novel alloys that enhance electron mobility while minimizing thermal conductivity, boosting overall performance. 2. Isotope Selection Scientists carefully chose isotopes based on their energy output, half-life and safety profiles. Plutonium-238, for instance, emits alpha particles, easily shielded, and produces high levels of heat, making it ideal for long-term applications. 3. Miniaturization and Scalability One goal was to make the battery compact enough for diverse uses without sacrificing power density. Engineers optimized the design to maximize surface area for heat exchange and minimize weight. 4. Testing under extreme conditions Before deployment, the battery underwent rigorous testing in simulated environments, vacuum chambers for space missions, high-pressure tanks for underwater use, and extreme temperature cycles to mimic harsh climates. 5. Interdisciplinary Collaboration Physicists, chemists, material scientists, and engineers worked together to overcome technical hurdles, from ensuring structural integrity to developing fail-safe mechanisms in case of unexpected failures. The eureka moment for the Chinese scientists came during a pivotal test when they observed their nuclear battery maintaining a steady power output over an extended period far surpassing the performance of traditional energy sources. As the data streamed in, showing consistent electrical generation with minimal degradation, the team realized they had unlocked something extraordinary, a power source that could operate reliably for over a century without intervention. During this breakthrough, one scientist reportedly remarked, this isn't just about powering devices, it's about reimagining what's possible. The implications began to crystallize as the team brainstormed potential applications. They envisioned scenarios where this technology could transform entire industries. 1. Space Exploration The battery's longevity made it ideal for deep space missions, where resupply or maintenance is impossible. Probes venturing to the outer planets or even interstellar space could rely on uninterrupted power for centuries, enabling unprecedented scientific discoveries. 2. Remote Infrastructure In remote or hostile environments, like Arctic research stations, undersea monitoring systems, or disaster zones, the battery could provide a durable energy solution, eliminating the need for frequent replacements or refueling. 3. Medical Devices Implantable medical technologies, such as pacemakers or neural stimulators, could benefit from a compact, long-lasting power source, reducing the need for invasive surgeries to replace depleted batteries. 4. Environmental Monitoring Sensors deployed in hard-to-reach locations, such as volcanic regions or deep within glaciers, could continuously collect critical climate data for decades, contributing to our understanding of global environmental changes. 5. Defense and Security Unmanned surveillance systems, satellites, and other defense technologies requiring reliable power in austere conditions could leverage this innovation to enhance operational capabilities. As the team reflected on these possibilities, 
The realization dawned that their invention wasn't merely a technical achievement, it was a gateway to solving some of humanity's most pressing challenges. One researcher later described the moment as both humbling and exhilarating. We weren't just building a battery, we were designing a tool to empower future generations. This epiphany underscored the profound potential of their work, not only to advance science but also to improve lives across countless domains. It was then that the true magnitude of their invention became clear. A century-long nuclear battery wasn't just a step forward, it was a leap into a new era of sustainable, resilient energy. The century-long nuclear battery isn't just an invention, it's a catalyst for change. It redefines what's possible in energy storage, offering a glimpse into a future where technology and sustainability coexist harmoniously. With its unparalleled endurance, minimal environmental impact, and broad applicability, this innovation stands as a beacon of hope for solving some of humanity's most complex challenges. It's not merely about powering devices, it's about empowering a brighter, cleaner, and more resilient world. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's technology innovation and advancement. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.